Welcome to French Conversations for Beginners. Learn everyday French from Janina, the language teacher, and Joël from France. Bonjour. Bonsoir. Ça va, Joël? Ça va très bien, Nina. Et toi? Ah, bien. Ça va, oui. Um, all right. So, in today's lesson, we're going to uh, talk about language for the train station. Right? Good. At the train station, à la gare. Yeah. Okay. Um, and I have to say that I think this is an exceptionally important conversation to learn. Um, at the end of the day, you can't really rely on all the signs in the train stations. They'll get updated in France. Would you agree with me on that, Joelle? Things they, get canceled a lot. Let's face they, it. So you need to be able to... They a lot and they update the platforms at the last minute. Okay. So. And then there's a lot of strikes as well. Yeah. Grève. Grève. Okay. So that's... So... And they, they happen pretty unexpectedly. So when I say you can't rely on the signs, it's important you need to be able to talk to people or you will not be able... You're not going to arrive where you want to go if you can't talk to people and ask questions even though you see times and... It all seems like it'd be pretty accurate, and you see trains arriving and, and such. It can change in a second, and you will sit for hours if you can't talk to people. So, so today we're going to learn how to ask some really basic questions at the train station. And then we're going to um, expand on all of that um, and go through the words and phrases that we used, as well as some additional ones that Joelle will teach us today. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, so obviously I'm the American and you are... The French translation, translation employee. That's correct. Okay, how would you say that in French, by the way? L'employé de la gare. Okay, perfect. Okay. So. All right, here we go. Pardon, monsieur, à quelle heure pas le train pour Versailles? Voyons, le 608 vient de partir et le suivant part à 14h28. Pardon, à quelle heure À 14h28. Regardez, il est, 14h, il est 14h20 et le train part dans, 20, dans 8 minutes. Ah oui, merci. Quelle voie Voie 27. Vous voyez Là-bas, un peu plus loin à droite. Ah oui, je vois. Merci beaucoup, monsieur. All right. OK, so... So basically, we just talked about some really basic things to get to the right place to get your, your train. Um, asking about what time it leaves, etc. Again, important because that's always changing at, uh, in France. All right, so I'm going to ask you some questions about some, some of the words and phrases we used in this episode. And uh, I'm going to ask you to say the French. So... How do you ask someone at what time? À quelle heure? Okay. And leave? Uh, to leave, partir. And leave? Par. So, at what time does the train leave? À quelle heure part le train? Okay. And so when we talk about the train for? Pour. Pour. And so in this case, what time does the train leave for Versailles? Le train pour Versailles. Okay. At what time does the train leave for Versailles? À quelle heure par le train pour Versailles? All right. So, a very common thing to say in French. Let's see. Uh, voyons. Okay. Okay. Um, and this next expression, this is pretty important. So, uh, you, when I asked you what time the, the train leaves, you then just said, Oh, the, the 608 just left. So... Il vient de partir. Okay, so good. So, just. So, vient de... Viens de. So anytime you want to say just something, viens de, whatever, and then the infinitive. Okay? All right. Um, okay, so has just left then. How would you say that? Has just left, that expression. Il vient de partir. Okay. And the next one. Le suivant. Okay, next train. Le suivant ou le prochain. All right. And then how do you tell someone, look. Regarde. Oh, regardez. Okay, and we used, that was formal that we used in this dialogue. So, regardez. Okay. Look, that's important. Uh, the, that difference. And I think I asked you on what 
I never know this word in English. I know it in French and Spanish. Um, maybe because I'm from the United States, we don't have a whole lot of, of these. The train. Ah, is it track? Is that a pro? What? La voie plate. Yeah. Or platform. Maybe that's what yeah. we say in in the UK as well. Yeah. Okay, so Voix. platform. Okay, so. Okay. okay. So what time? Um, how do I say? Um, from what platform, or from what track? On what track? De quelle voie? Okay, voie, voie. Okay, so if you're telling me, C in a formal way. Voyez. Okay, voyez. All right, and then a little bit. Un peu. Okay, and then far. Loin. A little bit further. Un peu plus loin. Okay, and I think you gave me some other directions here. So you said uh, to the right. À droite. Okay. All right. And to the left would be? À gauche. À gauche. Okay. Uh, and uh, some other important things, which are, if you've studied languages, this, this might be something you already know. But of course... European languages, and especially in things like the train station, airports, bus stations, all use what we call military time in the United States, right? So you use the 24-hour clock. So, oh, so okay, so if I saw, if I saw that 14 H 28, okay, That's I have to translate, obviously, that's 228. Now, I know this, but we use... We would distinguish, right? We would say like 2.28. And it could be 2.28 a.m., which would be in the middle of the night, 2.28 in the afternoon. This is actually makes more sense because there's no room for error. Nope. But um, we talked about... We, we talked about... We mentioned time three times in this dialogue, I think. And um, we use the 24-hour clock. So that's important to be aware of, 24, Right. And, and that's what you're going to say. So if I said, um, oh, actually, I did ask you, a quelle heure, at what time? A quelle heure? And how did you answer me? À 14h28. Okay. And that's, com that's common. 14 hours, 28 minutes. Okay. And then you also told me that the, the train leaves in le, eight minutes. Oui. Le so, train part dans huit minutes. Okay. Dans huit minutes. Dans huit minutes. Okay. All right. So important. So some of the other things that you would you would need to ask about at the train station. What would be really important? Do you think? Apart from these little things. You know how we talked about how um do you remember the time that we went to Lyon and all of a sudden our train which is a very well-traveled route and we can count on a couple of trains an hour at least to get to Saint-Étienne to the house was canceled and well it's happened more than I once I think. Annulé, annulé. Okay, so that's so that would be an important thing to know. Annulé, annulé, retard, en retard, which means delayed. Okay. So, what did you Grave, have to do? Strike, strike. But so, if you see any of those things, what do you do on the sign? You see it on the sign. How are you going to get where you need to go? Well, usually they they advertise for. Uh... Versus one replacement. So. so can you say what that phrase is in French, please? Uh, bus de remplacement. Okay. And so how would you find out where it is? What if you're... Obviously, people who are studying with us, you know, they might not know... In It would be... They'd be in a completely new place, obviously. Yeah. Right? Like the first time I went to Lyon with you and the bus was canceled, I wouldn't have known where to go, even if I could understand all the words on the sign. Yeah. Okay. Where would you get that information? You have to go wait in the line, right? Yeah. At the, what's the, the name best. of the, the <laughs> yeah, what's the name of the company? SNCF. Okay. And they have kind of a famous, everyone knows the. The jingle. The jingle, yeah. So what's it sound like? Dun, dun, dun. Like that. So everyone knows that that's a train station and it's on TV shows and references and movies and all of that. Okay, and they're basically the national rail service, essentially, yeah. right? Okay, so you're going to have to go talk to somebody. So how would I ask somebody what 
you know, what to do. If I, if I have, if I only understand the words like anule or, um, you know, yeah, you can ask, en retard, yeah, how, what, what, what might I say? Well, like if your train's been delayed, uh, cancelled, you can ask how, how you get, how you get to the, to the destination. Right. But I mean, how do you do that in French? So, uh, mon train a été annulé. Comment puis-je aller à Lyon? Okay. So, my train was canceled. How might I go to Lyon? And you used a good expression in there. Puis-je? You did say that. Puis-je? Yeah. How might... And in this case, you just meant like, how might I, right? Like, it's, you're being polite. Yeah. Yes. Being polite. Yeah. Okay, and I'm convinced that our word it please in English comes from that, but just being polite, so how might I do that? So that's an important, it's important to be really polite, obviously, because they're not really going to be too interested in helping you otherwise. Okay. okay, and then, of course, they'll explain, and hopefully you will understand the response if your replacement uh, train or bus has not been posted up on the board. Okay, so is there anything else you think we need to know about getting around... On the train in France. No, the platform, the times. Okay, okay, um, but in, no other survival language that we need. So we talked about strikes. We talked about um, things getting canceled a lot. We talked about basic language just to be able to talk to people. Where you know, where am I going? What is you know what what platform do I need to be on? We talked about some things that happen, um, survival language, okay, is there, and we talked about some basic directions, right? A droite, right? A to the droite, right, a gauche, gauche. Pas, um, un peu plus, plus, plus loin. loin, a little bit further, okay, là-bas, over there, okay, so we talked about some of the basic language, okay? Yeah. Any others that you'd like to add that you think that someone you step outside of your French brain that knows all of this stuff automatically. Yes, always good restaurants around the, the <laughs> around stations. the train station. I'm not convinced that that's true, but there are many places there are good restaurants close to the stations. Oh, uh, I'm not convinced. If we maybe you'll have to show me next time that we go to France because I know that near the station. Yeah. In San Etienne, um, I seem to remember There's McDonald's, McDonald's. <laughs> and I seem to think that there is a Starbucks and a McDonald's in uh, the train station in Lyon. Yeah, so. but in Paris there are really good restaurants. Yeah, there are. Actually, we did. We had a really good dinner on New Year's, didn't we? In yeah. Paris. What was the name of the restaurant? And it was right in Gare du Nord. L'Etoile du Nord. It was nice. It was a really good meal. Yeah, that's from a two, three Michelin star chef. So. Yeah. But it, we were very lucky that he didn't charge those prices at his brasserie. Anyway, um, so we look forward to seeing you uh, next episode where we're going to learn more real life survival French in French conversations for beginners. A tout à l'heure. See you soon. For more resources on learning and teaching languages, to get on our mailing list, or to get the workbook for this course, be sure to visit reallifelanguage.com slash reallifelanguageblog. If you enjoyed this episode, please be sure to subscribe and leave a rating.